Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Road Trip Adventure. Last time we made our way over here to Chestnut Canyon and we did the two hardest challenges in the game. Uh, the lava run and the uh, the uh, rock climbing. So it, I think we have to do the rock climbing again because I'm pretty sure there is another stamp. Um, but I it just didn't show up. Now, we're going to change bodies, of course, and we're going to go with this thing because it looks ridiculous. Also, we have the suckers on the car now. I remembered to do that at the very last second, uh, last episode, as I was about to turn the game off. I was like, oh, wait, we got to do, we got to do stickers. So now we have stickers all over our car. This, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it looks a lot cooler. <laughs> it looks a lot cooler with the, uh, with the uh, flight wing and all that stuff on top of it. Is there? I have a paint shop in here somewhere, right? Where is it? There's a body shop there. Where's the paint? I'm pretty sure I got a paint shop guy. Didn't I? Maybe not yet. Okay. Well, um, let's head to. Let's start off by going to San Polis because we gotta. We gotta paint this thing up. And and Chestnut Canyon, pretty much doesn't have anything, uh, in that regard. I don't. I'm not even sure if they have a part shop off the top of my head. I don't think they have much other than just the Q's factory there. So we gotta paint this thing up and make it look cool. And then we're gonna go and take a look at the mountain run one more time. We'll see if there is in fact another thing there. So we're gonna make it all black to start off with. It already looks cooler. You know, that's not bad, honestly. It's mostly the, the dorky little color they gave it. The, the khaki kind of color. Honestly, it's not that bad anymore. It looks fine, especially with the monster truck tires on there and everything else we have stuck on here, the uh, the hood scoop, the wing set, the jet turbine, the flight wing. It really doesn't look that bad. That's that's fine. Um, okay, well, let's, uh, let's head up to Chestnut Canyon then. And hello, I'm just going to turn around and leave. Thank you. Uh, all right, so... We got to talk to lots of people. Um, so we've been in the bar. Have we been in here? Are you the train guy? You like trains? You like trains. Anyone else remember that? <laughs> Those little animations. Oh my god. You thought I was only interested in trains and give me a try and switch me to a teammate. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Now we've got we've got a great team as is. Sorry, buddy. All right. Let's see. Uh, hi. Hey, my name is Wildy. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Hey, listen up. It's my daughter's birthday, but I can't find a nice present. Do you have any idea? Hey, you have a cute doll. If you don't mind, can I have it? Yeah, of course. Wow, thanks. In return, I found a pretty relief. You can have this. Aha! That's got to go back to Fuji City. And we'll do that shortly. Um, uh, let's check out these houses over here. Well, hello there. I'm Lowry, the star of racing. I'm high-powered. In place of your current teammate, can I join your weak team? What do you say? I'm the president, dude. You'll regret turning down Mr. Lowry's offer. By the way, to... Lowry. That's gotta be a reference to something, right? I don't know. By the way, to the west of Quick Pick Shop number 62, if you go down the cliff and drive for a while, you'll find an entrance to a cave. You can do rock climbing there. <laughs> Alright, well... Is that a- whoa, I just noticed there's like a rifle leaning up against the wall on the right hand side. That's awesome. Sweet. Hi, I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. You've been traveling around about the, uh, goddess- uh, wait. You've been traveling around about the goddess of the pond. Do you know about it? Yeah, I do, actually. Oh, you know, then I don't need to tell you. Um... So, what happens if I say I don't know? Is there, is there some secret scoop here to this story? Oh, alright. See you later. Alright, um... There's two houses over here? Oh yeah, okay, These neither of these are train guy. Oh, sorry about not reading any of that out loud, but I just sneezed like three or four times, so it was too sudden, I understand. I talk too much, huh? I think I'm babbling on and on by myself. You should sometimes say what you think, like me. I That's what I do. That's how I make videos. I just talk out loud, or think out loud, and, and you know, <laughs> you guys seem to enjoy it, so... Hello there. L uh, Lucy races like a uh, wind, like a wind? Like the wind. Should be like the wind, I think. 
a la Lucy is fast as an antelope, la. Did you hear? That's my song. Just like my song, my driving technique is great. I think you should let me join your team and replace your teammate. Let's do that. Let's not do that. No, I wasn't a huge fan of the song, but uh, you like to sing too? Yeah, <laughs> not, not the kind of music you're thinking. Try humming along with the radio, it's fun. Well then, see ya. <laughs> my friends and I were joking the other night. Uh, we went out and got pizza last night, and we were joking about how uh, we might. Uh, they were joking about doing a karaoke night. And I was like, you guys are going to pick, like, regular stuff, and I'm just going to throw on something like, I don't know, Psychosocial by Slipknot. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gene, a comedian. I'm not yet a professional comedian. I know, is there any funny greeting that might become popular? Hey, would you like to think about it too? Yeah, sure. Uh... Uh... Lamna. Lamna, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Hey, this sounds good. I'll give you this. Baby horn. Oh boy. Do I want to do I want to try that? Do I even want to? Came up with a new greeting. Alright, sweet. Um, well I guess it's a good time to go and try the uh, rock climbing one more time. Or at least we'll pop in, pop out, and see if there's new dialogue there. Whoa. Are you the guy I just gave the... Yeah, you, I just gave you the, uh, the cute doll. Where is... You. I want to talk to you. Ah! Don't run from your president. Ah. I'm dizzy. My blood pressure is not good, but racing is what I live for. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the air here is thin. Anyhow, it's not good. See you, Lamna. I wonder how many people are going to be saying Lamna now. I don't know where I came up with that. I just, I was looking at the letters on the screen, and I'm like, hmm. L, L, O, M, Lamna. <laughs> that's, that's literally my whole train of thought. I don't know. I tried to make a word that was actually pronounceable. <laughs> Hello, this is an entrance to the rock climbing, which leads to Mr. Mason's cabin. Maybe that's going to be a thing on the channel now. People are going to jump into a stream and be like, Lamna, Halo? <laughs> Uh, let's see. No, I know the rules. Let's, um, let's see if we can just do it again real quick. I mean, we got, we got the big tires, we got the jet turbine, we could probably trick the system. Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was possible, but I didn't expect it to work. In two minutes, aren't you tired? But no, not really. <laughs> I did it in nine seconds. <laughs> oh man, sweet. So there was another stamp. I thought there was, but it just didn't even show up until I came in here again. There it is. I thought I could have sworn there was, but it didn't even. What was so weird is like we're used to it at this point, where it doesn't give us the second stamp on the first clean run. We're used to that now. But it should have at least like notified me, like, hey, there's another new thing there, without me having to go back in. But anyways, can I make it? Oh, I made it! Nice. I think, I don't know if we've been in here before. I think we did, actually. We stopped in here uh, because they were like, what, what's that weird looking house? Oh my god, the heart's on the floor. Oh no, you mean Big Bang? Huh. This art an explosion? Yes, yes, it's an explosion. Oh, you're wonderful. You know art. Uh, you do get how wonderful this painting is, right? It's actually, it's really not that bad. I don't understand what's happening, but... Uh, Let's see, I'll give this to you. Mr. Carton's painting. I painted this. Treasure it. Lamna. La I thought it was a greeting. Why are you saying it at the end? The guy told me it was supposed to be a greeting. Visit all houses in Chestnut Canyon. Alright. I thought I was ready. I went quiet during the rock climbing because I was ready to do a cut and everything. Nope. Nine seconds. Piece of cake. Uh, Alright, we appear to be done with Chestnut Canyon, at least in terms of houses. Now we gotta go make sure we talk to everybody and uh, get anybody that might want to move to my city. Because I know that we did not spend a lot of time here in Chestnut Canyon, we really breezed through this. Because quite frankly, there's just not much here. I mean, like you just saw, we just went to every building and there's no shop of any kind. So, you know. I apologize for the sniffling. My uh, my allergies have not been happy here lately. We said we've had some wildly variable temperatures, and it's not doing good for my for my allergies. Fastest girl racer in the world. 
I race all by myself, but you're good too. So when place your teammate, uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Uh, you think I'm a tough girl, huh? But even though I have a dream, it's to win all the races held in this world. Well, I don't understand why they say Lamna at the end. That's not what it's supposed to be. Well, here, on the channel, when we use Lamna, we'll use it as a greeting. That's what we'll do. My name is Stance. My current goal is to join a wonderful team. No, I'm sorry. Very, no, you're not too polite. I just, I have really good teammates already that I, you know, won the World Grand Prix and helped me be president. So, I'm sure you're fine, but, um, you know. All right. Oh, and there's one more. Uh, which one is it? There's one race where we didn't end up getting first. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I don't remember where it was. Oh, oh, wait, there it is. Lava Run Raceway. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's here. Oh, wait, that's here. Let's do that here. We can do that. Hello, sir. Oh, my God. I'm just going to drive on the side of your house. Don't worry about it. Okay. Who's this guy? Wait, the orange car. I need to talk to the orange car. You're new. Ah! Oh, hi, Matil. No, 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 no. I need to talk to the orange car. Where'd he go? Oh, come back. Ah! Hi. It feels fresh, makes me want to race with my teammates, but I can't seem to find the right teammates. Oh. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I carried away and I fell off a cliff. I was surprised. You should drive carefully. Yeah, I, I would say so. Oh my god, everybody just conglomerated up on top of this hill by the Q's factory. What's going on? Alright, let's uh, let's hop in here real quick. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and do this with the big tires, because why not? Let's do a race. Let's do Lava Run Raceway. We can do this with the big tires. They'll be, they'll be fine for... It's mostly off-road, so... Yeah, let's be good. We got fancy parts now. We can do this. Out of my way. I'm in it to win it. Hip. Yay, they pushed me off the wall. Huzzah. I got stuck in the wall, and I kind of screwed my teammates, too. But the AI came and pushed me off the wall. All right. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm trying to tap the brakes gently when I, when I feel like I need to. Uh-oh. Uh okay. We're fine. Don't panic. There we go. We got it. We got it. If anything's going to screw you in a situation like that, it's physics. But if you just take it easy, remain calm, the physics, you can make them work for you. There we go. That slalom in there is definitely the hardest part. You really can't get around these turns too quickly. Especially since there's not a handbrake, so no deja vuing in this game, at least not on purpose. Because I would totally be trying to drift around these corners. I'm not good at drifting, but, you know, I'd make it work. It'd, be, it'd still be useful to be able to do that here. You can sort of drift, but it's not uh, its not the cleanest kind of drifting I've ever seen. If I just mash the uh, square button here, the brakes, it sort of almost works like a handbrake. Go, go, go. Alright, now as long as I don't run out of fuel, which I should be able to manage, we'll be fine. I really screwed Diaz and uh, Peo at the beginning of the match here, when I, when, or the beginning of the race here, when I rammed them into the wall. I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to get out ahead. But whoever's up in uh, fourth there, they've only got one more car to pass, and then they're they're in second. So I think Diaz is the bottom name, and Peo's the top name. So Peo's got a little work to do, but I think he can. I think he can pull it off. That seems to be the only, that seems to be the closest thing you can get to drifting or power sliding right there is, ooh, hitting the brakes and then turning suddenly, which I guess is kind of how handbrakes, you know, make you drift anyways, but, um, yeah, if you just slam the brakes in this game, it's almost the same thing, apparently. Uh-oh, one of them uh, fell back to sixth. 
And the other one fell back to 10th. What's happening, guys? Oh, they still have racing tires. That's what it is. I forgot about that. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. It'll be alright. They've got all the fame and glory and everything. That was the race. It was great. And I got first place this time. Huzzah! Okay. Now, we can head up to Mushroom Road. <coughs> and... Hmm, I think we'll have time for the uh, the mini game that's up there. I don't know. We'll find out when we get over there. Uh, orange car. Yeah, we talked to you before. Matil again. Let's see who's this out here on the fringes. Who are you? Have we talked to you yet? Stance. Oh, your stance. No, uh, no, no. Good. Da -da -da. Up. Number one, please. Go see who this other car is over here. Let me sit down, please. Why, hello. An expert of mushroom picking. I always go to Mushroom Road to pick mushrooms, but I'm tired of it. I want to live in a cool city. Yeah, my city. Cool. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, hello, Leon. You know there's a big golf course in Mushroom Road? I want to play a big golf course at least once. Um, just drive to Mushroom Road. It's a short drive. It's a very short drive. It's very practical for someone in your position here. Yeah, someone from like Peach Town would be a little harder, but is that is that one of those uh, Toyota? It was an AE86. Is that what it is? Kind of looks like it. Steve, well, you seem well equipped, but I don't. Uh, I won't. Uh, won't yield to no one. If we become teammates, then we'll be the fastest team. Oh, um, that's fine. Which parts shop do you go to? I go to the one in White Mountain. I go to the one in my city because it has everything. All right. Is this the, the Deja Vu car? I don't know what it is anything else. It's a Toyota something. I can't get a good look at the front of it. I don't know. It might be. It at least looks roughly similar to me. Anyways. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oop. Course correct. We got it. Alright. Mushroom Road. Here we come. Something I only just thought of about Mushroom Road is that there's not, like, cars driving around in Mushroom Road to talk to or anything. It's just kind of empty. But at least it has a parts shop. Mushroom Road at least has that going for it, but it has so much less of everything else. There are no cars driving around. There's one shop. And, uh, that's, that's really about it there. Alright, welcome back to Mushroom Road, everybody. We got the parts shop there, which I know we've been into before, and the other thing to do here of interest is this is not... Yeah, it is this one. It's this mini-game over here. It's golf! Woohoo! So this is pretty interesting. This is Jumbo's golf course. A total of nine holes awaits you. It's fun. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see what we can do here. One hole, uh, par three. Clear view, par three hole. Watch for the ponds to the left and uh, to the left and behind the green. So you basically just, yeah, you drive and hit the ball. It's uh, it's kind of like I don't know. I mean, it's golf, obviously, but it's. I was gonna compare it to the uh, to the um, oh crap, what's it called? Um. Curling. It's like the curling minigame, but we haven't done that yet, so. Cup in birdie. Cool. Alright, oh my gosh, there's nine holes. Par three. Alright, well, here. We can take as long as we want to line this up. And then because we have a jet turbine and, and big tires, we're gonna wing set down for this. Hey! That was awesome. Don't land in the bunker, please. No, don't, no. Oh well. Shouldn't be too hard to get it out of there. All right, well, we can work with that. We'll make it work. Now, where is it exactly? There it is.
Oh god, okay. I thought it would be way harder to get out of there, so I used the jet turbine and everything. Par's three, so I gotta make this if I wanna make par. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Gosh, I don't have a lot of room to move here either. This is not gonna be the easiest shot in the world. If I even tap the ball, it's gonna give me my. It's gonna use that as the turn. Go, go, go! It's not gonna make it! No! Oh, crap. Alright, I didn't have a lot of room to move there. There. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, that sucked. I really overestimated how much it would take to get it out of the uh, bunker there. Bogey. Alright. Well. So, what? We are we're at zero now. Uh, 650 yards. Oh my gosh, this is a huge course. Okay. Well, let's just go for a nice, long, straight shot here to start with. Par 5, okay. Hip! I couldn't make it go any further than that, man. I had used everything I had there to get it that far. Alright. Oh, I can use the horn. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's where it's going to stop. Now, can I get it, like, up and over the, uh... Up and over the rest of this, because that would be that would be great if I could get it up and over the map. Imagine that. Do I want to take that risk though? Kinda. I want to try it at least. Hmm. Hmm. I want to try it. I want to try it and see if it works. Nope. <laughs> well, maybe, but I didn't. I didn't get it high enough for that to work. I should. I should have just gone for another setup shot. Around the uh, around the bend here. Hmm. Am I feeling brave enough to try and bounce it off the outer wall of this turn here, and then send it towards the hole that way? A little bit. I think I can do it. I gotta get a good lineup on this though. Oh wait, I can see the hole from here. Hmm. But I don't have enough room to accelerate. I don't know. I might be able to get it pretty close. I can at least put it in the right direction. Downhill too, that'll help. Yeah! Go, 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 go! Oh, stop. Stop rolling. Stop it. No! Why do you do this? Okay, that was... That was my third shot? Yeah. Alright, so I gotta make it in two more. Hmm. Yeah! Go, 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 go. I should have used the jet turbine. I could have got it there a little bit easier. Alright, here we go. Alright. We can do this. Just don't overestimate how much I need. Yes! Oh, thank god, I forgot that the pole is actually an object that it can interact with. Nice! Alright, there's three. Oh gosh, we're having a long episode here. Can I quit and, uh, uh oh. Alright, I think we're gonna have to, well that's, we'll call those the practice runs. We'll have to do this next episode, because I don't want this to be way too long. Alright, so, uh, yeah, there we go. That will do it for this episode of Road Trip Adventure. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.